Hey guys, it's Monica. I thought I would take you on a journey through the best of my trash, which you all know I don't go through a lot of products quickly, but um, I do go through some. So I'm gonna share with you the things that I've used up and that I've repurchased. I also have a bunch of things that I am not going to use up because I just simply don't like them. And I think I'll save that for another video. But if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, please like, please comment. I truly appreciate your support and I love engaging with you all. So thank you for doing that. And for all of you who always, always watch my videos, I absolutely, absolutely adore every single one of you. So here goes. So what have I used up? So it may not be a surprise to you that I actually used up one tube of the Blink Eyelash Serum. I have four left that was sent to me free for review. I've talked about that in a previous video, so I'm not gonna go into the details, but I'm actually never, I believe, going to be without some sort of an eyelash serum. And the fact that I can buy my eyelash serum overseas and have it be so affordable is huge for me, really huge for me. The other thing that I've used up is and bought the replacement. I actually have two replacements. This will not be a surprise to you, but I have finally used up my suntan lotion. And this is the Australian Gold Face 50 SPF Mineral Non-Greasy. I have my two replacements. This one's empty. I absolutely love this stuff. So, you know, the biggest thing for anti-aging or aging gracefully or whatever is, you know, you can do, you can buy and spend mega bucks on all sorts of products to make your skin look good, feel good, <laughs> age in reverse or whatever. But if you're not protecting yourself from the sun, you're just gonna undo everything you're trying to do. So my philosophy has been in the last you know, year and a half, two years, I wish I'd started earlier, is to use some sunblock every single day and that's seven days a week, whether I'm going out or not. And when I'm at the beach, I'm gonna protect myself all the more. I happen to really like this because I can add a little bit of foundation to this and I can wear this. Or if I wear it alone, it doesn't leave my skin white cast. It is drying. It is more of a mattifying suntan lotion, if you wanna call it that, on my dry skin. So I typically will start with a little bit of a face oil and then apply it let it soak in, you know, wait a while, make sure it all settles down, and then I'll add my foundation of choice. And speaking of foundation of choice, it won't surprise you that I finally ran out of my number seven, Lift and Luminate, and I have my replacement. I bought this one on sale at Walgreens, and it was the last bottle in my shade, which is wheat. So I'm happy I got it. I'm really happy I got it. I really, really, really like that. The other thing I ended up replacing, was my Nutriox. And this is empty, I like a little tiny bit in here, and here is my replacement. I use this twice a day. Now, when I derma roll my scalp, I will derma roll my scalp maybe twice a week, or at least once a week, but twice a week is my goal. And I usually drum roll my scalp after I've washed my hair. I don't wash my hair every night. And then when it when it's like a little bit dry, I start to do not completely dry, I'll derma roll and I do one way, one way. This, you gotta be really careful when you derma roll your scalp because if you go, you can't crisscross. You have to be very, very careful. Otherwise you're gonna just, in my opinion, you're just gonna be breaking off and damaging your hair if you try to go crisscrossing it. It isn't gonna work that way. So I do one way and I might go you know, up this way and then I'll pop my hair and I'll do the part. I'll pop my hair and I'll do the part. Always just going one way. I lift it up and go back. Once I'm done that, I will take this and I will spray it in my parts, you know, pretty well where I'm derma rolling is right about here. So I'll spray this all in and make sure my hands are nice and clean. After I spray it in, I actually kind of massage it into my scalp a little bit. And that's how I actually do it every day. Not with derma, not when I derma roll, but not that I derma roll every day, but I do massage it in every single day. So I really think this is making a difference in my hair. Enough so that I believe in this and I believe in the derma rolling and I think the two combined for me 
has really been huge. I also ran out of the conditioner of the Nutriox. I have not bought my replacement yet, but I probably will. I like the conditioner better than the shampoo, so I probably will buy it. The other thing I have run out of is my big, sexy, powder play and I know they have like the spray powder too that you can get but you know what I'm still buying this one because I find this at TJ Maxx if you're lucky you can see this at TJ Maxx for like six bucks or something like that as opposed to paying I don't know how much it is and you know in that you know Sally's or anything like that because I usually just get it at TJ Maxx so I like this I just put it in my hair and I think, you know, especially if I've had hair, I think it just really boosts my hair up a lot. I ran out of my niacinamide. I didn't run out. I emptied my niacinamide. I have my replacement. I use my niacinamide and this is the one from The Ordinary. I use my niacinamide seven nights a week and after I wash my face and I've toned it and my face is super, super clean the niacinamide goes over. I, I just use it at night. I know you can mix it with your vitamin C. I know you can wear it in the morning, but I find it to be a little tacky and beady, and I prefer it to be at night. I let it soak in. I don't have to worry about a foundation going over it. So I do, I, I use this every single night of the week. I let it sink into my skin, and then at one point, I'm gonna go in and do my Retin-A. The other things I finally finished, and this is the re refill size of my vitamin C from Timeless. I bought this, I want to say it was last May, I think I've had this almost a year, um, when Timeless, or in the summer, when Timeless has their 50% off sale. I buy the refill size, I keep it in the freezer, I pour it into a smaller bottle, and at one point I didn't pour it in the smaller bottle because it got really low, I just used this. I did the same thing with my Matrixel 3000 serum. I bought the refill, I finally ran out of it, I I am not repurchasing it. I am repurchasing my vitamin C. Actually, I already have it, but I did not repurchase my Matrixel. I am going to use the Matrixel Sync 6, I've mentioned that before, instead of this. So I'm not going to replace this yet. So um, yeah, and I think I've, I've, um, I've got plenty of this. I ordered, when, I, when Timeless has their 50% off sale, I will order my favorite products. The eye cream, I had like three tubes of it, three cans of it. My uh, vitamin C, because you have to be really careful, the shelf life and all that. I wrap it up in tin foil, I put it in the box, I stick it in the back of my freezer, and I really think it lasts doing it that way. So. My mascara, I ran out, and a lot of people will say, you know, do you find like when I use my superhero or even any mascara, even this, a lot of people say, oh, you know, does, what do you do when your mascara dries out? You know, and I'll tell you what I do. And I used it, I do it in my superhero, I'll do it in this when it gets down towards the end. I take a tiny, tiny, tiny drop of black castor oil and I put it in my mascara. And then I go swoosh, 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 back and forth, back and forth, make sure it's in there evenly coated. And it makes my mascara apply like it's a brand new tube. So that's what I do. That's how I kind of preserve my mascaras. I think the black castor oil is awesome. And even though I'm using the um, the Blink, the eyelash serum, and I'm not supposed to be putting any oily substance next to it, in the morning sometimes, before, and it all depends how early I get up, I will put a little bit on my lashes. I still always do it on my eyebrows. I don't know. If it's, I don't know if it's making my eyebrows grow any any longer but or th darker or thicker but I'm doing it so that's my trash uh, not very exciting but I am a creature of habit I figure if something is working you know why try something else unless you can prove to me there's a product that's gonna you know a mascara that's gonna be better than this and affordable Maybe, but this works for me and it's so, it's like so incredibly affordable. So I, I, I'm all for being affordable. I'm all for saving money and um, the skincare that's working for me is working for me. So thanks so much guys. I know, I know this is probably kind of on the boring side, but I did want to tell you all the things that I finally finished this last month. <laughs> Bye.